Hello good day viewers, still on definite integrals. Today we are going to evaluate this definite integral using limit, meaning right from definition. But before then, I think it is important to solve this problem the traditional way, just to compare the two results. Let's get started. To integrate x squared, you need to add 1 to the exponent to make it 3, then you divide by the new exponent. This will give us x to the third power, divide by 3 minus the integral of 1 with respect to x will give us x. The limit is from 1 down to 4. Let's substitute the upper limit first. That is when x is 4, we have 4 to the third power, which is going to give us uh, 64 divided by 3, minus when x is 4, we still have 4 here. The minus the lower uh, limit, that is when x is 1, we have 1 to the third power is still 1, divided by 3. Then the minus will change this one to plus we have 1. Um, we can join these and this together. That will give us 63 divided by 3. The minus 4 plus 1, that will give us negative 3. And this together, we have 21 minus 3, and this is equal to 18, which means that this definite integral evaluate to 18. So that is the area. Let me write it down here. The area is equal to 18. Now let us apply definition and see whether we are going to get this 18 or not. So from definition, area is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation f of a plus k times delta x multiplied by delta x for which k begins with 1 and stop at n. This is our formula. We need a, we also need delta x. Let's start by finding the delta x. Delta x is equal to the upper limit b minus the lower limit a divided by n, for which b is equal to 4 and a is equal to 1. And 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So this is equal to 3 divided by n. That's our delta x. And we know that a, which is the lower limit, is equal to 1. So we need to take this plug it here. But I would like to start by simplifying f of a plus k delta x times delta x before we take the summation. So let's do that right here. Uh, if I should bring it down here. This is equal to f of a is 1 plus k times delta x. Delta x is 3 over n and um, k times 3 over n is 3 uh, k divided by n. Multiply by another delta x outside, which is 3 over n, 3 over n. But remember, our function is x squared minus 1. So we are going to replace 1 plus 3k over n with x. Then um, we simplify. So from the top, our function, we well, can see that this is equal to x squared, that is 1 plus 3k over n whole squared, this is just x, the minus 1, don't forget the whole of this should be multiplied by 3 over n. Let's expand this one. First time squared, that is 1 squared, is 1. Second time squared, 3k squared is 9k squared, divided by n squared is n squared, then plus 2 times 1 times this. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 6k divide by n don't forget we have minus one here the whole of this should be multiplied by three over n this one and this negative one will cancel so we need to take this distribute over this let's continue the other side three over n times nine k squared over n squared this will give us um 27 3 and 9 is 27 then we have k squared divide by n times n squared that will give us n to the third power then the second term 3 times 6 is 18 we have k to the top to the bottom we have n times n which is n squared so we have finished sim simplifying the whole of this all we need to take is the summation of that so let's take the summation summation of um 
27 k squared divided by n to the third power plus 18 k divided by n squared the whole of this remember k begins with one and stop at n so this is a summation with respect to k anything that is not k we are going to factor it out let's start with the first term here 27 over n to the third power will come outside 27 divided by n to the third power they multiply by the summation of just k squared from 1 down to n plus the second term 18 divided by n squared will come outside summation of what just k from 1 down to n remember we have learned how to expand the summation of k squared from 1 down to n is the same thing as n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so let me do that right here so this is equal to 27 divided by n to the third power the expansion of this is n n plus 1 2n plus 1 divide by 6 that is the expansion plus the other term we have 18 divided by n squared times the expansion of k to the first power from 1 down to n is n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 as simple as that so let me see how can we break it down i know that um, um i can divide this by 3 how many times two times I can divide 27 by 3 exactly uh, 9 times. So this is 9. And this n into n is 1. And into this we have n squared. So from here we just have, let me write it. We have n 9 over n squared multiplied by, I think we can even expand n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. That will give us... Um, 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 divide by 2 and from the other term this n will go into n exactly one time and here we have just n and this 2 right here will go into 2 one time and it can go into 9 18 9 times so we have 9 over n again 9 over n multiplied by n plus 1 only n plus one so let's continue here i would like to distribute directly i can see that every single term here can be divided by two so do we do that let's do that first so this is equal to nine over n squared inside we have two n squared divided by two that will give us just n squared plus three n divided by two plus one divided by two and from the other term we can expand directly 9 over n times n, the n will cancel, leaving only 9. Then plus 9 over n times 1 is 9 over n. Let's come back here. If you take 9 over n squared, you multiply by n squared, the n squared will cancel, leaving only 9. Plus, uh, if you take 9 times 3 is 27 divided by 2. 27 divided by 2n. Why? Because one of this n will go into this exactly one time. And lastly, we have 9 over n squared times 1 over 2. That is 9 over 2n squared. Then plus 9. Plus 9 over n, which is the last one. 9 plus 9 is 18. So we can add these two together and repeat the rest. 27 over 2n plus uh, 9 over 2n squared plus 9 over n. We're almost done. Let's move to the other side. Or should we take limit here directly? Remember, we are done with the summation. Finally, we have to take the limit. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the whole of this. Let me just write it. 18 plus 27 over 2n plus 9 over 2n squared plus 9 over n so our area 
is equal to remember that limit of a constant is still constant so we have 18 so if you substitute infinity here it will be bottom heavy as the denominator becomes bigger and bigger the whole fraction tends to approach zero so this will be zero 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 and zero which is equal to 18 exactly as our previous answer thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye